Hi everyone, I'm Linda. Welcome to Financial Insights. I am your accounting coach. Today I want to talk, talk about the key things you need to do to manage your business finances. Many times we hear that, oh, you need to manage your business finances, but we really don't know what that means. So do you know that Oprah Winfrey, she signs every check that comes out of her business, every single check. And do you know why that is? It actually, even though, she, as we all know, she has millions and millions, billions of dollars, it helps her manage her business. She is focusing on cash flow. That is the key to managing your business finances. Many times we get wrapped up in, oh, our revenue is high, our revenue is looking good. Depending on the type of accounting method that you're using, rapid, excuse me, depending on the type of revenue, the method you're using, the type of accounting method you're using, that does not give you a true picture if you actually have cash in the bank. So revenue and cash is not the same. So today I want to show you how to manage your cash. So there's three parts to managing your cash. So number one is your accounts receivable. Number two, your accounts payable and then cash. So accounts receivable is money that's coming in to you. So you invoice the client, that invoice was sent off, you're waiting for payment, client pays. When you send out that invoice, your accounting system records an accounts receivable. Accounts payable, the vendor sends you a bill for a particular service or product that you want to purchase. That, that is money that you owe someone else. So as you can see, accounts payable, receivable, they go hand in hand. So accounts receivable is money in, accounts payable is money out. This is the foundation of managing cash flow. You have to understand what's coming in and what's going out. Now, if you do not invoice, so say, for instance, you do not use an invoicing method. You basically provide a product and service and then individuals just pay you. That's fine, too. But you want to start to look at what is my estimated cash coming in and what is my estimated cash going out. So I want to show you a template that I created. So let me share my screen here. And Share screen. This is a simple template in Excel. So in Excel, this template is stating the week of, whatever the week of. What you're going to do, you're going to have a cash balance. So this cash balance is your current cash balance in your bank. You may want to list payroll run. When is the next payroll run? Um, and then from there, the next section is the accounts receivable section. So this is a section where you're going to estimate. Once again, you're going to estimate payments that are going to come in. So if you're using an accounting software, you can just download the accounts receivable report. Then you want to total. So you want to total the expected payments for that particular week. So this particular situation, there's 22,500 in accounts payable. That does not mean you're gonna receive all of that in one week. So you have to estimate and say, okay, I'm expecting 8,500. Accounts payable is the next section. Accounts payable, if you're using an accounting software, you should be able just to down, download your accounts payable report. And remember, this total here, that 2799 you may not pay that all at once. So you're just going to estimate, okay, what am I going to pay out? Then you may have payroll. Um, you could have something else that pops up. But what you're going to do, you're going to estimate your cash receipt. So cash coming in and cash going out. So cash receipts is the beginning. I'm just going to click here so you can see. It is the beginning 
bank balance, I'm sorry, not the beginning bank balance, but the current bank balance plus the estimated payments that you think that are going to come in. Then you're going to have that expected cash paid out. So this is bills you're going to pay out. This could be payroll, whatever the case may be. So basically this is money going out. Then you're just going to subtract the two. So you're just going to subtract cash receipts minus cash paid out. This is just a very simple spreadsheet that you can utilize. There's many different formats that you can use, but use something, even if you just use a notebook paper. But this is how you want to manage your business. You want to make sure you have enough cash on hand. So once again, always start off with your current bank balance. The next section is estimated payments that you were expecting that are going to come in. These are actual deposits that are going to hit your bank account. Then you're going to estimate payments out. These are for bills. This is for payroll, whatever the case may be. Then you're just going to do a simple formula to say, okay, expected cash receipts, expected cash paid out. What is the difference? Here is my estimated balance. This estimated balance will let you know, do I have enough? Or if I don't, do I need to make a transfer? Or if it's negative, okay, let me call, get on the phone and call the cust these customers and make sure they pay for this week. So this is how you want to manage your business finances. As you know, QuickBooks is a tool. Um, Wave, Zero, whatever accounting software you're using, it is a tool. It does not give you this type of analysis. This is where you as an entrepreneur, a bookkeeper, supporting staff, this is where you have to use what you know about your business to manage the cash flow. So once again, your accounting software doesn't manage your accounting. You have to take the lead on that. So Hopefully this information is helpful. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel. There's more mini lessons and make, you, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.